Hi, welcome back to our channel. We are kicking off a Mental Health Monday with five tips to help you cope with stress during COVID. So tip number one is exercise. And I know that sounds really simple, but there is a really great app called Fit On that you are absolutely going to love. Like they have so many different workouts. You can work out with your kids. You can work out in small spaces. They have like five minute workouts to like hour workouts or 45 minutes. And it is a really good way to, you know, get those endorphins, get those happy brain chemicals and kind of feel good about yourself like inside, which will radiate outside. So tip number two is to journal. And I know a lot of people are kind of really funny about journaling. Like some people think that it isn't beneficial, but it really is. Like if you have a place to put your feelings, you will feel lighter. Trust me. I have like five different journals just for like business, um, studying, and then also like personal goals and um, for my clients and just like a lot of things because I love being organized. Anyway, journaling is a game changer. Like having somewhere to put your feelings, as I said, is just like life changing. Like you feel lighter, you feel better, you feel like less constricted and heavy. So I really encourage journaling, it can be on your phone, you know, just whip out notes, like have a quick check in with yourself, how are you feeling today? What are you feeling? Why are you feeling this way? Is it okay? Is it not okay? What's going to help you feel okay? And what's going to help you feel better? Maybe one of those things is exercise. Who knows? The third one, or the third, what am I doing? I don't know. The third tip, is to reach out to someone you trust or someone you feel like you can talk to and just have a chat about what's been going on for you. You know, how hard it is in lockdown or isolation or um, in quarantine. I'm not sure like what countries are still quarantining or are in isolation, but in Melbourne where I currently am, we are still in stage four lockdown. We have a five kilometer radius we can't go out of. We can only go out for an hour of exercise and to, you know, get food and supplies. So it has been really hard for us here. And that's kind of why I'm making this video because there are some things that have helped me that may help you. So the fourth tip is setting goals for the day. Like, I know that sounds a bit mundane, but if you have goals for the day or a to-do list for the day, you are more likely to be productive. You are less likely to, you know, have negative thoughts creep in, get into like a really sad and depressed state, and you are more likely to keep on track, I guess, like in your mind, if that makes sense. And the fifth tip is self-care. Like I love, love, love self-care. Self-care is amazing. It doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be like drawn out. Just do whatever feeds your soul. So what I like to do is a face mask, although a lot of my face masks are now not high room approved which is very upsetting, but I still do them anyway. So shh, don't tell him. I'll paint my nails. I love painting my nails. I hate going to get them done. So I would rather do them myself and it makes me feel really good. I'll, you know, order Uber Eats on a few days where I'm like really overwhelmed and I'm really stressed and I've had a long day and I don't feel like cooking. That's a form of self care. So whatever feeds your soul, in a good way, do it. Just do it a few times a week and you will feel a lot better. So those are my five tips for managing stress or coping with stress during COVID. And I mean, these can be applied, you know, not 
in COVID or not in lockdown or isolation or quarantine. Like they are just general tips to help you feel less stressed. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to our channel to join our growing community. And I will see you on Wednesday for our first Wellness Wednesday. See ya!